Hi friends, welcome to today's story verse. You're with Natalie and Miss Rox here. Let's see who we're going to meet and where we're going to go today. Where do you want to go today? Do you want to meet someone? Yeah. Oh. Hi everybody. Today on Story Verse, I want to share this book called Oi Frog. And I love this book because not only is it very, very funny, but it's a rhyming book. And that means even if I can't read one of the words that are coming up, I can have a really smart guess at what it might say because I know it's going to rhyme with one of the words I just read. Let's have a look at Oi Frog by Kez Gray and Jim Field. <laughs> look at all the frogs. You see them rocks? You're going to lay on my book? Oh dear. <laughs> Oi, frog. Oi, frog. Sit on the log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable. They can give you splinters in your bottom. <laughs> it does not look very comfortable. I don't care said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a <laughs> log. Can't I sit on a mat? asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. Hmm. What about a chair? said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. <laughs> Hair <Hare> today. <laughs> Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. Hmm. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mats. Hares sit on. Mules sit on. Gophers sit on sofas. And frogs sit on <laughs> logs. What do lions sit on? asked the frog. Can you see what the lion's sitting on? Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on Carrots. Mm, doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. Oh, that cat is terribly bossy. Goodness me. What do foxes sit on? Asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. Can you see the magnifying glass down here? All the little fleas sitting on peas. <laughs> what do goats sit on? 
asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on ploughs, and storks sit on forks. Huh. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars. Rats sit on weasels, sit on easels. And moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Oh, don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels. Doves sit on gloves. Newts sit on flutes. Lizards sit on wizards. And apes sit on grapes. Oh, you're very good at rhyming. Good job. What about puffins? Asked the frog. Can you see the puffins here? Aren't they great birds? What do you think they're going to sit on? Puffins sit on <laughs> muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins. Snakes sit on cakes. Owls sit on towels. Gibbons sit on ribbons. Lambs sit on jams. Bees sit on keys. And pumas sit on satsumas. I had to look up what satsumas were. Satsumas are a fruit. Has anyone tried satsumas? I haven't tried one. I imagine they've got pumas sitting on them. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. Hmm. What do dogs sit on? Asked the frog. What do you think dogs sit on? What do you know? Rhymes with dogs. Oh, I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. What do you think it might be? <laughs> Help! <laughs> what do dogs sit on? Dogs sit on frogs. Thank you for sharing that story with me. I hope you thought it was funny too. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Storyverse today. If you're an educator, check out our show notes with some ideas for how to use these books and themes in your classroom. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Say goodbye. <laughs> okay.